Shalom. Hey, we back at you with another video. You know, but before we get started, we're going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakah Hagodash. The bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the sons of Yaakim pushing his truth out of the world. Shalom. Keep pushing. Shalom. Shalom. But hey, we're just going to get, get into it. What's going on back at the house? You know, you got Jake in all kind of distress back in New Orleans. You know, in surrounding areas due to Hurricane Ida. You know, which is good for you niggas. Because, you know, we've been telling y'all, what, for years? You know, some brothers just got into this thing telling you for months that all hell is going to be coming to Israel, man. And it ain't getting better for y'all, for the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And especially us brothers down in New Orleans. We've been telling you all, number bullshit coming to you niggas. But what you do, you hiss, you laugh, you scoff. You know, you, you point fingers. You come with your drive-by shaloms and shit like that. You know, now look at you. You down there, you in, what, fuel lines, food lines. It had some nigga woman on the one article crying to my machine, ate in three days. Good. Hope you never fucking eat again, you know? Because we didn't told y'all, you know? <laughs> hey, it's, we told you these, these judgments and punishments were coming, but you, you didn't want to hear it. You wanted to hear the smooth and the nice things, and you were scoffing. And mm -hmm. now the Most High has brought it to you. And you got nobody to blame but yourself. Gun, you you thought you thought Katrina was it. Thought you'd never see an, another storm like that in your lifetime. And guess what? The most I sent another one. And you niggas still stayed there and got the same judgment. But this time, it seemed like it's worse, you know? You know, <laughs> they talking about it may not be power for months to October. Mm-hmm. You know, but Esau made sure he got his power down there in the French Quarter. Yeah. But the rest of you niggas who down there. He don't give a fuck if you starve or not, you know, but that's who you love. And that's who you're going to keep on, you know, keeping on trying to keep his kingdom going. Because when it comes to the Most High, you don't want to hear it. You know, you don't, you definitely don't want to hear his word no more. You you don't want to hear the counsel, you know, from the prophets. Nothing. You just on your own accord, you're on your own free will, pretty much. Do as thou wilt. And you see an outcome now. So we're going to go and get started with that Nahum, huh? You mind if I get a precept for you real yeah, quick? Yeah, you got it. This is uh, Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of Yahweh of hosts mm -hmm. with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. Gun, that's how the Most High visited that place. And that's how he visited the world, man. You know, everybody's saying, Esau got you thinking it's just just a weather type of thing or the tectonic plates moving or some shit and they clash together and come up and they move. No, the Most High is making these earthquakes upon the earth and he visited you wicked people with these storms. You know, when you're, when you're your damn trailer and you went fucking 20 miles away, you got blown off, you know, your roof get blown off and you in a fucking tree somewhere fucking 10 miles away. The Most High did that to you, you know? You got to pay for your wickedness. Whether it's your past life or it's this life, no matter what, you gonna get paid back, man. The most high, he's not gonna, he ain't like your typical person out here where, you know, after a few months, he'll let it slide and say, oh, don't worry about it. No, the most high don't forget, you know, and he gonna pay your ass back in any given moment, man. And you seeing it now, again. <laughs> you niggas down in New Orleans, wicked as hell, cause the most high keep paying you niggas back. Whether it was tornadoes, what, a few years ago or something like that, constantly flooding. You know, and now another fucking hurricane, Hurricane Ida. So the most high, he, he got a real disdain for Louisiana. You know, <laughs> that's the way I'm looking at it. But hey, like I said before, it deserves you right. Because you don't want to hear nothing we got to say. And, and ain't from what we saying, we, we saying dust up the Lord. And we saying it first out the scriptures, man. And every time you want to keep playing and keep dragging this out and dragging this out and playing around, like the scriptures say, make no terror to turn to the Lord. Because look, you niggas been tarrying and tarrying, and you still trying to find your own way, and it don't fucking work, Jake. You you got a contract to uphold. The most high ain't forgot about this contract that you niggas made on that mountain that day, you know? <laughs> Y'all said, yeah, we're going to follow these laws, statutes, and commandments. We're going we gonna to do right, you know, most high. And look at you now, still to this day, fucking doing whatever you want to. You know, but until then, you're going to get all kind of calamities, anguish, distress, mourning, crying, sickness, death, all that. 
So good for you niggas. Uh, this is Nahum chapter 1 verse 3. Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power mm -hmm. and will not at all acquit the wicked. Uh, Yahweh hath his way in the whirlwind mm -hmm. and in the storm and the clouds are the dust of his feet. Gun, that storm came through and put hell on you niggas down there in Louisiana, man. You know, you ha had one Jake I saw on a news article. He down there talking about with his hand is, well, his face in his hand talking about, oh, I lost everything. Good. I hope you keep losing everything, you know? Because you just want to do whatever you want to do, Jake. You want to stay running to your pork, eat Nutri-Rats, you know, dance, and you can't wait for Mardi Gras to come back, but you want to get in your second lines and do all this man of wickedness. But when it comes to something simple, as far as doing the scriptures, man, it's, it's like talking trigonometry to a nigga, you know? Niggas, it's like... Nigonometry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, nigonometry. It's like you can't fucking get through to you fucking numbskulls, man, that you supposed to be keeping the law, statute, commandments. It's like, it's so simple... But Jake make it so complicated because Jake just love wickedness. And New Orleans is a damn a breeding ground for wickedness, you know? People come from all over the world to come down there and get fucking butt naked nasty down there, you know? Bucket nasty. Yeah, <laughs> bucket naked you know, nasty down there. And our people right in the midst of it, man. That's why they can't let, they don't want to see that place go down because... These niggas here, they had to bend back when Yahweh shot, when they was throwing, you know, all kind of stuff at Yahweh shot when he was carrying his cross. Let his blood be on us and our children. Yeah. And a lot of them Jakes that live in Louisiana, especially New Orleans, they probably were back there. Mm -hmm. it's the very same ones, give us Barabbas, mm -hmm. let his blood be on us and our children, throwing shit at him, talking shit, all that. Because these are some wicked niggas in Louisiana, especially that New Orleans French Quarter area, that New Orleans city. Them niggas is something else down there, you know? And and they love to have it so, man. They refuse to follow the right way. They don't even know what that is anymore, man. It's just all about what they own belly want, their own lust, and you know, and their own wickedness, man. Whatever they think is right is is wicked, you know? To so where it's the voodoo, to Mardi Gras, and all whatever kind of festivals they have down there, man. Our people love it. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't want the kingdom of heaven. They want Esau kingdom, especially that French quarter, Bourbon Street, to go on for eternity, man. If they could, they'll keep coming back, you know, lifetime after lifetime, generation after generation, to come party down on Bourbon Street and drink some old nasty-ass daiquiris, man. You know? But, yeah. you, know yeah. you got it, you got it. They, they want that big easy. Yeah. You know, but we telling you that all that's about to go away and that this storm is from the most high. You know, he keep sending you storms, tornadoes, hurricanes, telling you you going off. But you just keep ignoring and keep believing E, just saying, oh, this is this the worst storm in a thousand years, you know, a hundred years, that this never really happens. But it seems to me, it seems like some shit always happening, you know? Jake's are always, whenever we're not on the block preaching, there's a Jake that always gets killed. Right where right where we're at preaching, either that night or all throughout the week. Yeah, gun. And but yet, they like moths to flames down there, cause it, it's so wicked, and our people love it, and they, and they lost their way, man. And we got a Jake walking behind us right now, smoking a black and mild. Is he? Oh goodness, <laughs> the fucking demon, them founders. But mm -hmm. I'm gonna get that. Uh... <laughs> Who is that? Jeremiah, I think. 2319. Oh, you got it. I, I got that one, and I got a precept 42. Okay, go on. This is uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 19. Behold, a whirlwind of Yahweh is gone forth in fury, mm -hmm. even a grievous whirlwind. It shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. God, I it was a whirlwind, man. Like I said before, sent from the Most High. Like I'm saying, he put his name on it. You know, it, it's from the Most High. And it came down on the head of the wicked. You know, who, who's the wicked? You Israelites. I mean, there's two kind of wickeds, but we talking about the wicked Israelites right now. Because that's all we getting into right now. E, we already know his fate. But you niggas, we, we come down here to preach to the lost sheep of Israel, man. We supposed to be trying to wake you dumb niggas up and telling you, you know, turn back to your power. 
you know, with shun wickedness, shun all kind of adultery, murder, stealing, killing, you know, whatever you want to call it, of your own people, of that. You know, you don't do anything to Esau, but you hell on your own people. You know, you love committing adultery. You love being liars. You know, you uh, <laughs> you some a bunch of a bunch of wretched dogs, man. That's what you are. You love hanging out. You all in all kind of manners of what? What's that other kind of bullshit? I forgot that Latino X. Y'all into Latino X, Latin X. Yeah, oh, let, yeah. Now. You in that BS? Whether it's voodoo, being a witch, a, war, a warlock, you damn a bruja. Yeah, you Prince Hall, sodomites. You know, all y'all is all in the one, and you going off. And the Most High sent this whirlwind down here to, to, to put hell on you niggas down there in Louisiana, man. You know, and it ain't gonna stop. And it's only gonna get worse from there. You know. Like the brother said, it was another storm coming. Hopefully, it's a it's a cat six this time. You know, a, a, a record breaking <laughs> storm that heads straight to New Orleans again and just Come. finishes the job. Yeah, cause we we tired of New Orleans. You know, tired of the state of Louisiana. Period. You know, tired, <laughs> tired of Babylon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come, we ready to get out here go go to Israel. You know, but you niggas want to hang out on fucking filthy Bourbon Street and with piss and rats. And vomit and and shit all up and down the street, and you niggas running that weekend week out, man. Like it's the best place on earth. It, it's just madness, and it ain't no changing. It ain't no changing you, fucking Israelites, man. Y'all just Goodbye. disgusting, you know. <laughs> just pure disgusting, man. Busted and disgusted. Yeah. But I got a precept to back up exactly what you just said. Good. And hey, it, it's it. Calling you Jakes is wicked. Calling you Jakes the wicked too is fitting because what did Yahushua said? You are of your daddy. You're of your father, the devil, mm -hmm. and we know who that devil is. Esau, the wicked. Mm -hmm. So you at at this time on this side, you you're in a sense the sons of the wicked right now. The sons of your daddy, the devil, Esau. Mm -hmm. you know what? You're gonna get the same judgment he's getting on this side. All these calamities to come and get burned up by the nuclear missiles. Mm -hmm. It's all because coming because of your wicked behavior that you're committing being cheats, adulterers, killers, thugs, thoughts, whores, any horrific thing under the sun you Jake's put up as so-called black culture. Mm -hmm. You put up as a oh I'm a Latinx again, what 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 the the, the so-called Native Americans do. You everything that 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 takes you as far away from your power, you Jake's gravitate towards and put it on as a chain of honor, a badge of honor when it's really a badge of dishonor. God, and and the northern tribes they didn't went so backwards now they they getting into Islam you know so ain't nobody like I'm saying this is when we come with the truth and try to tell you what the truth is it's foreign to y'all because y'all y'all so far off the path now and you don't know what the truth is no more you know but if it's lies like you say Latina Latinx Islam Christianity all that sounds good to y'all now man and look where you at now down there in food lines begging still okay. and speaking of the northern kingdom there are a lot of northern kingdom out there that are damn uh, devil worshippers and satanists yeah. and shit okay. I seen a lot of that and there was some serial killer back in the 80's called the night stalker mm -hmm. which he was he could have been a tear he could have been an Edomite but he was a Latino but he was like oh I'm, I'm here to do satan's work he had 666 and a pentagram tattooed on his hand mm -hmm. so it, you jakes all across the board the 12 tribes are wicked and deserve everything that has come to them and and will continue to come to them yeah, yeah. but but this is hosea chapter 4 i'm gonna start at one hear the word of yahweh ye children of israel for yahweh hath a controversy with the inhabitants of the land mm -hmm. because there is no truth nor mercy nor knowledge of the most high in the land that's with you israelites no truth no mercy towards your brothers and no knowledge of the Most High. Mm -mm. Here you have the men of the Lord diligently preaching these words day in and day out, but you refuse to accept that knowledge. As it says in Isaiah 30, take, take ye uh, the Most High out of our paths and say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto, not unto us hard and rough things, mm -hmm. and the lamentations, mournings, and woes that are coming, and what you need to do to get out of it, but prophesy unto us the sweet and the smooth things. Tell us how to 
prosper in this kingdom. Tell us it's okay to call ourselves so-called black, Latino, Native American, and that we can be friends with the Edomites and just make it in society. Everything's gonna, everything's gonna be okay and go back to normal. Mm -hmm. Good. Verse two, by swearing and lying and killing and stealing and committing adultery, mm -hmm. they break out and blood toucheth blood. Therefore, the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. And we're seeing you, Jake's in New Orleans right now, languishing from no, no uh, power, no water, a heat wave hit that place, gas shortages, food shortages, you name it. Mm -hmm. With the, therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish with the beasts of the field and with the fowls of heaven. Yeah, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away and hey we're, we're you can look at it like this with the beasts of the field languishing no food being at these stores no food being there and with the fowls of heaven it, and and with the fishes of the sea being taken away and all these stores have been ran ransacked of food no fishes no chicken which mm -hmm. is a fowl no beast so maybe not being able to find beef or steak or anything like that and as the brother was saying there was some uh Eve woman down there who said she hadn't eaten in three days. Mm -hmm. Hey, just a, a, a dearth of food down there. Mm -hmm. And you're languishing in there without no power, no water, uh, the heat wave, fuel shortages, you name it. And as we've been saying all throughout this video, we, we hope this continues. And we hope you, you really get to stew in that punishment that the Most High is putting you through. Because you deserve it. You deserve mm -hmm. every ounce of uh, what's coming to you. Because again, the men of the Lord have been diligently preaching you this word. Not just the younger brothers, like uh, this brother and myself, but hey, going back to our apostles and elders, and even their 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 teachers, going back with Abba Vivens back in the late '60s. There's been a, a lot decades mm -hmm. of uh, the men of the Lord preaching to you Israelites, but what do you do? You continue to wax worse and worse, mm -hmm. and 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 uh, go farther and farther away from your father. So you can only do it so much. It says the Most High is, is slow to anger, but he's not. It, because judgment isn't executed speedily, people think that they've altogether escaped the judgment of the Most High, roughly paraphrasing. Hey, the Most High just allowing you to build up that bar tab more and more to where when you got to pay it, you're going to lose everything. And that's Jake always thinking that, hey, you know, I got by this time. You know, the Most High ain't going to do me nothing next time. You know, and look, look at you now. Back in the same fool lines again, begging, crying. And here it is, that same nigga woman, somebody she ain't ate in three days. Here it is, she in, in a shed, sleeping on the dirt, on the dirt floor or something like that. But do you think she wants the kingdom of heaven? No. She happy with Esau handouts, with the with the emergency pie bags or whatever they give them, the little bottle of water they giving them. And she fine with that. You know? She wants the kingdom of FEMA. Yeah. She want she loves begging in the Esau kingdom, man. So she can go and if she even pray to jesus now you know you niggas so wicked now i don't even think you believe in jesus no more it's fucking weird oh, behind us <laughs> all this space behind us you want to go all close to us but fucking twisty the clown yeah you know and hey that's the way you like it the most i can continue to serve it up to you the way you like it jake because you ain't gonna never learn because we got to get or well, the most i got to get rid of you two-thirds and Esau eat them in order for the kingdom of heaven to be established, man. Because y'all in the fucking way right now. And we know the most I got this on a time schedule. But until then, Edom and the two-thirds of Israel, y'all finna catch nothing but hell coming up now. Because like we're saying, this is going to ratchet up from here. You know? All it's going to take, hopefully another, like we were saying before, another hurricane to come through and just finish the job. You know? That hopefully martial law come behind that. You know, mm -hmm. economy collapse, you know, all the oil refineries shut down, you know, no fuel nowhere in the country. Hopefully to bring all that, just going to get rid of this damn cesspool of a place called America, man. Because as long as it's here, Jake going to continue to be wicked. And y'all going to continue to scoff. You're going to continue to butcher the scriptures. You know, you're going to continue to be, you know, self-proclaimed prophets. But you really ain't nothing but damn merchants really selling the truth. You know, you're looking to get a clout, a following. You know, that's all you're really trying to do. You're just trying to be the goddamn next Maury Povich or some shit 
and you know in the Hebrew Israelite community you know that's all you really want to do you want the you want the fame and then the little crumbs that Esau gonna give you in his kingdom you know whatever deal you made with Esau look Esau don't honor, honor deals man he goes back on all of them you know so you can sit here and be a mason be a or just old grimy old lousy dirtbag two-thirds nigga whatever the case may be man you still gonna catch hell you still gonna have the curses on you in this in this god forsaken place and you know and whatever comes is gonna be from the most high so just remember that because you turned your back on the most high and he ain't forgot a damn thing man and we here telling you so from from up top like they say the email this email from up top we telling you that this word is coming from up top man he ain't forgot and he's still pissed with the wicked every day you know hey, kind. And, and like his son is father like son the most high hot and his son your howard shot is hot too man and he's ready to come and put a foot in you niggas ass man and twist it sideways Kind, right <laughs> i'm gonna get a uh, this judges 10 and 14 well i'm starting at 13 yet ye have forsaken me and serve other powers wherefore i would deliver you no more so yeah the most i is not gonna deliver israel no more it ain't gonna be you know the chariots coming leading you by by fire at night you know a pillar of fire by night you know whatever the case may be he gonna send them death angels to your doorstep he gonna send them demons and uh, bug your ass out and have you in the streets doing all kind of wild shit so these uh these edomite cops can put a hole in your ass you know and send you up to the spirit world mm -hmm. you know he gonna orchestrate number pain and destruction for jake now you know because hey you chose to serve east what's the name esau you want to serve esau his kingdom so hey the most i can't do nothing with you 14 go and cry unto the powers which ye have chosen let them deliver you in the time of your tribulation yeah that nigga woman she crying when i was reading the article she was talking about can anyone please help me she didn't say hey can god help me can yahweh help me yeah she's like anybody can anybody help me pretty much you know so hey she crying to her powers man esau em and and whatever two-thirds she can find help out of man that's who she believe in they're gonna deliver her in the day of trouble and if i could say real quick mm -hmm. hey, this may seem harsh to some people that are just uh tuning into these videos but you gotta think about it like this as as uh, the brother was talking about earlier you jake's got to pay back either something wicked you did in this life in the past life and yeah it's one thing seeing an older woman crying begging for food saying she went through some hardships on the camera but what was she doing in her daily life mm -hmm. for all we we know she could have seen the men of the lord the the brothers in new orleans on a camp video scoffed talk shit at him mm -hmm. or had family members that went out and, and gave us hell on the block mm -hmm. the reason she's in that situation is not because she fell down on her luck it's all the judgment of the most high for something wicked she did and the most high put it on her mind you know she, he sealed her instruction for her ass to stay there in new orleans to get all that work you know and then the most high is starving her ass out you know but you dumb two-thirds don't even see the bigger picture man you know it, this is all Everything's controlled by the Most High. Like, I forget how the scripture go, but roughly paraphrasing, saying, Most High, he controls Israel, or he can form Israel pretty much like clay. You know, pretty much he owns your ass, Jake. You know, he can do with you anytime he wants to, man. You ain't hard to be touched by the Most High. And and right now, like that nigga woman and all the mother, the Latin tribe that was in line getting gas, waiting for food, hey, it's all the will of the Most High. You know, and you can't get away, you can't get around him, you can't get away from him. You know, he can find you in any given moment, man. Esau ain't got nothing on the most high, you know. <laughs> he know where you lay your head at and where you ain't laying your head at. Or where you think you're going to lay your head at. He already there. And you jakes can easily get it from the most high, as the brother was saying, because mm -hmm. you're the ones that have a direct link to the most high. Mm -hmm. You you ain't hiding anywhere from the most high. If yeah. these elites... Of these average everyday heathens can't hide how much more you hit his, his his representation on the earth mm-hmm hey Moses, he got you he formed you he created you he know you 
You know, how you gonna, how you gonna uh, beat the manufacturer, you know, <laughs> when they created your ass, you know? I can't remember who said it, but it's some character in the movie that it was a dad talking to his son, and he's like, I brought you into this world, mm -hmm. and I can take you out of it, too. Exactly. Like I'm saying, he can, hey, you can't win, man. <laughs> he he the, ultimate, the ultimate hunter, you know? <laughs> he saw think he can hunt, but he ain't got nothing on the most high. The most I can put something in your mind and have you there just to sit your ass and get ran over by a pickup truck, man. Or a damn dump <laughs> truck, you know? <laughs> God. So, hey. But keep keep choosing other powers and keep crying to them because that's who you love anyway. You lost your love for the most high, especially for his son, your Howard Shaw, man. You got no love for him no more either. You know, so, hey, whatever you get, good for you. And, you know, we all smiles when we see you crying, crocodile tears. You know, I turn around and I smirk. I, I got a big cheese smile, you know, when I see it. I look at you, I, I examine you for a minute, and say, damn, the most I fucked you up, man, you know? And I, and I walk off and I smile, like, hey, it's business. And I'd be damned if I get in the way of the most I doing this business on Israel, man, you know? Okay. Hey, the precept, the precepts back up just what you said. If you don't mind me bringing out oh, yeah. Proverbs chapter 1, I'm going to start at 24. Because I have called and ye refused, mm -hmm. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. Mm -hmm. May the men of the Lord out there on the highways and byways preaching as well as putting up video epistles like this. This this word is being open unto you and this hand is being stretched out. But the majority of you just 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 push the hand away and, and spit at the men of the Lord, so to speak, which is really you turning your back on the most high, your creator. But ye have sought, but ye have set at naught all my counsel and would none of my reproof mm -hmm. is the point in verse 26 I also will laugh at your calamity mm -hmm. I will mock when your fear cometh God. and the most I sit back having a big old chuckle at Jake down there wondering oh man how are we going to get fuel how are we going to get food how are we going to get water you sitting here worried looking stressing out Ain't slept in days, smoking cigarettes back to back, chain smoking. If he still got cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you trying to bind your nails all night, can't sleep. The most other man having a good old chuckle, man. He's like, man, look at these fools here, you know? <laughs> he having a good laugh. Yeah. Yahweh Shai, the archangels. Yeah. Satan's up there chilling, having a good laugh. And hey, the men of the Lord, as the brother just said, we're, we're laughing at you right now. Yeah, we're extension of them, you know? <laughs> and we sitting here laughing, having a good old country, uh, a good belly laugh, you know? Like, look at these dumb niggas here, <laughs> you know? But hey, you're going to continue to get it that way because Jake loves shit the hard way. And you know, like you said, a hard head make a soft ass. And no matter what the bullshit Jake go through, man, they still take it on the chin. So that's why the most high eventually gonna have to get rid of you dumb niggas, you know? <laughs> Cause you just, you're never gonna get it. You know, we'll be here for eternity, just still here. Cause you niggas is, you never sit and consider, well, maybe the most high did this, you know? Mm. Maybe the most high did. And if you did, it don't last long. Day later, you down on bourbon, fucking pee popping on a handstand down there, you know, <laughs> with your damn junk hanging out, you know? Yeah. So good for you. I mean, <laughs> that's the only way I could put it for you, Jake. I mean, if you got anything else, man. Can... Oh, I'm good. Yeah, okay. Oh, let me. Oh, I got one more slide. All right. This, uh, I'm going to get one more before we get on out of here. This, uh, Book of Sirach 23 and 19. Such a man only fear of the eyes of men and know if not the eyes of the Most High are 10,000 times brighter than the sun, beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret parts. So yeah, Jake, the Most High see you down there, you know, New Orleans or wherever you may be in the world, you know, bowing down, praying to these idols. You know, you're doing your voodoo down there in Haiti. You saw Haiti got that work down there. Them so-called them, uh, so Haitians, the Levites, and you got a lot of Levites in New Orleans. Yeah. And hey, he started sending some to Levi because y'all supposed to be the fucking priests of Israel. But y'all in some fucking, the damn priests of voodoo now, you know? You done switched it up on the Most High. <laughs> so he's like, you know what? I, I got something for you, you know? So the most times, just think about it. When the worst shit is happening to you, Jake, you know, you're in the bread line starving, just know the Most High sent that hit out on you for you to be going through that man you know it wasn't because of the esau economics and you know the 
the such and such economy going down, no, it's all of the most high, man. Because, hey, you hate him, and he going to return the favor, man. You know? Ain't ain't nothing for the most high to get back at a nigga quick, you know? But, hey, the eyes of the Lord, ten times brighter than the sun, and he see all the wickedness Israel is doing, and it's all accounted for, and it's all going to get paid back in the end, man. Okay. You know, but, hey, we're going to go and get out of here. We hope this video was edifying. But to the sense of the man, keep pushing. Hey, Shalom, we almost out of here. Before we get out of here, we're going to give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakah Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the sense of the man. Keep pushing. Shalom. Shalom.